Hi, this is Matt with another amateur instructional video. Uh, today we're actually going to be covering something new from O6. Uh, they've just come out with a brand new 16 channel uh, DVR uh, recorder system uh, from their line of products. Uh, this one actually has multi-mode input. Uh, you can use HD, uh, HD, excuse me, TVI cameras, uh, CVI, AHD, IP cameras like in the earlier products, Pixel Plus or analog cameras. So you have lots of options here. Now for the purpose of today's uh, video, I'm gonna show you how to connect all of the connections out of the box. And we actually have an AHD pan tilt zoom camera that we're going to uh, connect for the test today. Okay, just one. Okay, so real briefly, I wanna to touch on what comes out of the box. Uh, what to connect and then I'll show you a little bit of the new interface they've created for their 16 channel kit Okay, so to begin with uh, the box right here will come with a disc uh, With some helpful information an ethernet cable which uh, for the purpose of today's test. I've used my own ethernet cable uh, two SATA cables one for connecting to uh, The hard drive just a regular SATA cable and then the SATA power cable, okay? Uh, to connect the hard drive inside of your kit if it doesn't come with the hard drive. Uh, additionally, it comes with a mouse. The brand new mouse lights up. You'll see that here shortly, which I find very helpful in the evening in low light situations. Um, it also, of course, comes with a manual. Uh, basically, and of course, the, the power cable. Everything you need to set up the new uh, kit or to incorporate the new DVR into your current camera system. So additionally, as I said, uh, sold separately, I have an AHD pan tilt zoom camera uh, that I have from O6, and I have the cables to connect it with, the coaxial cables. So we're gonna go ahead and start that process. Oh, in addition, of course, a power cable uh, for the uh, camera as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the setup. Just um, watch, and uh, it's, it's very simple. It's as simple as their other DVRs. Uh, just the back end looks slightly different, okay, because of all the, the wired uh, channel connections from the cameras. Okay, so first of all, we have an HDMI cable coming from my TV being plugged in here, okay. Um, next, we have the Ethernet cable, which I supplied myself, plugged into the Ethernet port, okay. Uh, next, we have a USB cable coming for the mouse. There are actually two USB ports down here. Uh, one for the mouse and one for a, a thumb drive or external hard drive if you want to back up your video. Okay. Um, additionally, of course, we have a uh, power cable, which we're going to uh, plug in, of course, to the back of the console. Uh, now we're going to plug up the camera. Okay. So the HD pan tilt zoom camera that comes from O6 uh, has a red and blue connector. Okay. The red is typically for power. And this is your video connection right here, the coaxial connection, okay? So what we're going to do with the supplied cable is we're going to connect, um, of course this has to be male to female on the red here and the blue. So we're going to connect the camera to the cable they supplied. You've got your power and you've got your coax. You've got a little dot here that you push into the, and feed it through this little feed here and then turn it to lock it in place like most coaxial connections. Um, then we have to connect the other side of the cable. So for here, um, I have the power cable that came supplied, the red's power, and then this has to be plugged into the actual channels, okay? There are 16. I'm just gonna plug it in this first slot here. I'm gonna line it up with the dot here to go right in this little hole, and then I'm gonna twist it to make sure it's connected and locked in place so it doesn't come loose, okay? Okay, now that we've done that, and all the hardware connections are done, we're gonna look over here at the actual new display here, okay? Now this display is for 16 channels. It's much improved. Um, you can see this camera right here is an AHD camera, as I mentioned. Right now I have it running at 720p. Uh, we have the time and date up there on the right, and of course it's in the camera one slot, and you have 16 channels, okay? So now I'm gonna use this mouse that they supplied, which of course is lighting up here. We're going to right click it, and we're going to just show you kind of, here's the main menu. Um, here's where you uh, shut down, restart, or log off. So you can shut down, reboot, or log out. Those are the options. 
Uh, I also just wanted to show you real briefly the network connection, okay, how to make sure that you're set up for the internet and it's on the network and, and all as well in terms of, um, you know, any additional thing that you want to do with it. So we go to main menu, uh, by default, admin username, no password as usual. We click OK. We go up here to the cog for system. We go down here for network. And basically you want to ensure that DHCP is enabled. That's going to basically have your router that this is connected to assign an IP address to you and give you all the necessary DNS information, port number, etc. Okay. Now, a good way to test this is to click network testing and it automatically pre fills that with your gateway. This is the, the IP address for your router. You're going to click ping and if, if all packets come back like they did now, you know it's working. Now when it's not working, I'll unplug the Ethernet cable here. This is what you get when you do your network test. It fails. The request is timed out because I've unplugged the network cable. Or in your case, it could be because the network configuration is inappropriate. So that's why you want to make sure that again you check DHCP is disabled, uh, excuse me, enabled. Uh, you click the apply or application button. You click OK. And then you right click, you go to log out, and you reboot. That should fix, fix most network issues, okay? So pretty much just what I wanted to show was the interface after we connected everything. I wanted to show how to get the networking working, and I wanted to show how to reboot or shut down the system. Uh, we'll definitely have additional videos in the future to go over all the different menu options, especially with the new pan, tilt, zoom cameras uh, that we now have the functionality for. Uh, the higher resolution feeds and cameras, uh, just all the bells and whistles that have come with the new system that is simply amazing. Uh, again, this is Matt with another amateur instructional video. Thank you and have a great day.